It's estimated that about 30 to 40 percent of patients that have a SARS-CoV-2 infection or COVID-19 will have some symptoms of long COVID months afterwards. We were able to determine that the blood vessels are changing dramatically after COVID-19 infection. And this can include very sick patients or patients with a very mild disease. The blood vessels are growing, they're changing their position, and they're changing the number of blood vessels within the body within different sy systems. The findings that we have on blood vessel changes are important for a number of reasons. Uh, we can target these changes now that we understand them with therapeutics to hopefully reduce the incidence of long COVID and make patients healthier and happier and improve their quality of life. It's, it's helpful for patients to have a diagnosis and I think we're, we're kind of edging on that you know, diagnose, diagnosis or diagnostic criteria. I think having something in a biochemical analysis that says you have this or you have these markers elevated therefore it fits with this it's helpful. It goes along with other diagnostic criteria for other diseases and disorders. So having that in our tool belt is very helpful. But then again, also providing potentially a mechanism of treatment. So if we can actually target some of these abnormalities, maybe people will have less time on this, this spectrum, on this disorder pathway. Uh, this is a problem that's gonna continue. And it's important that we understand this problem, that we can diagnose it accurately and eventually that we can create therapeutics to get people back to their, their, their ongoing lives faster and safer.